one, this is ECU boot. And today, we're working on this Mercedes GL320 using the 62A diesel engine, which is a V6. The customer complaint is when he pressed the gas pedal, the engine is running very roughly. He had brought it to another workshop before us, and they've done a lot of adjustments, including the injectors and the high pressure fuel pump, but the symptom remains unchanged. There's still a lack of performance in accelerations and the engine is running roughly. So with this particular symptom, we're gonna go ahead and run a quick scan on our diagnostic tool. And as we access to our ECM, there's a lot of full code related to the exhaust system, especially the DBF, the diesel particular filters. According to the European cars, the DBF full code is very serious because their emission standards is very strict. Whenever you're having this full code, it will put the car into low performance mode in order to achieve the emission standard. There should be a DBF warning light on the dashboard, but I guess the previous workshop has something done with it. This light will mention the drivers that the car is having a big problem related to the DBF system. And with that being said, we shall diagnose this car together. So this is our DBF and one of the main purpose of a DBF is to collect particulate from the engine exhaust in order to minimize discharge of soot to the atmosphere. The soot particles accumulate in the channels of the DBF and to burn off at regular intervals to reprocess car regenerations after calculating various of equal conditions such as DBF pressure difference, the exhaust gas temperature, the engine oil quality, and the engine speed and so on. Excessive accumulations of soot in a DBF can cause a drop in engine performance. During regenerations, additional fuel is injected via multiple post injections in order to increase the exhaust gas temperature. During this period, the DBF temperature is raised to approximately 600 degrees Celsius or 1100 degrees Fahrenheit and the accumulated soot is oxidized or burned off at CO2. The DBF pressure sensor signal voltage low for court in a pull-down monitor circuit may be caused by a short to ground or open in the high reference or signal circuit. And with that being said, we have two options. We can either replace the DBF or code in to turn it off completely and in our case, the customer asks us to turn it off. So, in the next step, I will show you how to code this DBF using flex tool. And first of all, we have to enter the ECU numbers into the Illustrator in order to convert it. As you can see, we've converted it from 02810146641 into EDC 16CP31 8.12. With the new number, we're gonna find the protocol for this car and read the full backup and save it into our computer as original file. This will prevent the situations when we're doing something wrong, we still can put it back to when it started without damaging the file. When it comes to select protocol and connection type, 
we have three options the OBD, the bench and the boot the OBD will be the least to use because when we use this type it will go through many modules and therefore create a lot of risk the bench will be the most common to use because we only have to remove the module connect the exact pin and we're good to go the boot is the most complex way because after pinning we have to use another dev device to read on the FROM chip and the relevant required protocol. We use the bench all the time because it's strong and the lowest risk. The instruction will show you exactly where to connect the pin and you have to make sure that every pin is connected. As you can see, I've connected all the pins from the flex tool to my ECU and I'm gonna read full backup and save it as original file. Then, I will use stage X to turn off the DBF functions. So firstly, we have to turn off these functions on the FROM by setting all the descript value to 0. Then, set up all values to zero in the review matrix for all of the maps that related to DBF. This will make the software to rewrite the program and load it to our ECU. In the next step, we're going to turn off the sensor by setting the values to zero and change the minimal recognition voltage to values below range of minus 5 and the maximal recognition voltage to values above range of 5. I will change the absolute values to 6 and minus 6. Once you have properly changed all related maps, the DBF and all related sensor will be deactivated. So after using the tool to turn off the DBF, we're gonna test it on a vehicle to see whether the symptom is still there. As you can see, the symptom is no longer existed. In conclusion, today's problem is related to the exhaust system, especially the DBF. The stuck DBF will put the car in low performance mode, resulting the engine to run roughly. After coding to turn the DBF function off, the vehicle is fixed and will no longer have any DBF warning lights on the instrument panel. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we will help you as much as we can. Till then, we really hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.